businesses are not required to pay for some types of contraception for their workers. Tonight we're hearing from Hobby Lobby. Let them buy their the own the birth case. control. They screwing on time, on their own time. Um, that the Supreme Court has made. A decision former Supreme Court fellow Lauren Bell says is a setback for a controversial part of President Barack Obama's health care reform law and a victory for faith-based companies like Hobby Lobby fighting it. The standard that the Supreme Court upheld today is one that's existed for many years. And in fact, the Supreme Court was really just upholding the status quo. The high court ruled Monday the arts and crafts chain, they along with two other Christian control. companies, will not be required to offer insurance coverage for four birth control methods the companies say conflict with their religious beliefs. Methods like the morning after pill and intrauterine devices. If those companies were hoping to prevent women from using contraception, I'm not sure that that's something they would be celebrating after today's decision. On the other hand, this does potentially give them some freedom within the, the Affordable Care Act to um, continue to promote their own beliefs. As for Hobby Lobby customers like Henrico's Grace Jeter. Keep it out of my shopping experience, but I'm glad that there are ways for big companies to stand up for themselves based on their own beliefs. And that was Laura French reporting. We reach out to the Catholic Diocese of Richmond. They tell us they're happy the companies won what they call a victory for religious liberty. Meanwhile, Professor Bell there says she expects many more lawsuits to follow this decision. General Mo